This video is going to review how to multiply fractions. So when I have my fractions, the nice thing about it is I don't need a common denominator, I can just multiply straight across. So I'm going to do 1 times 5 is equal to 5, 4 times 8 is 32. And at this point I can't simplify any further, so this would be my final answer. For the next one, 3 times 2 ninths. So for this problem, because I have a whole number, I have to turn that first into a fraction. And whenever we have a whole number, we can just put it over 1 because a fraction is a division problem. And when I would divide it by 1, I would get itself. So I'm going to turn this into 3 over 1 times 2 over 9. There's a couple ways you can solve this. You can just multiply across. 3 times 2 is 6 ninths. And then I can simplify that by dividing by 3 and getting 2 thirds. The other way I can do that for some of you is I can do the cross cancel. So 3 over 1 times 2 over 9. I can cross out my 3 and my 9 and say 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now I have 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Either way is fine. As you can see, you get the same answer both ways. The last example I'm going to do is multiplying mixed numbers. Here I have 3 and 3 fourths times 4 and 1 half. I cannot multiply these the way it is. I need to make them improper. So to do that, I'm going to do 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 3 is 15. So I have 15 fourths times 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 9 halves. This is where I'm going to now start my multiplication like normal. So I'm going to do 15 times 9, which is 135, and 4 times 2, which is 8, which is going to leave me with an improper fraction. So because this is an improper fraction, I need to turn it into a mixed number. I'm going to do that by dividing 8 into 135. Okay, I can say that I know 8 times, what are we going to start with? 10 is 80. And then when I subtract, I'm going to get 55. I'm going to do 8 times 6 is 48. When I subtract 15 minus 8, I should get 7. Okay, so now I have 16, and my numerator is going to be 7. My denominator will stay the same as 8, so my answer would be 16 and 7 eighths. So this is just a good review on how to multiply fractions. If you need more help, please come into tutorials.